Okay, we're live. Hey, everybody. How's everyone doing? What's up, Ghost X? Chris McDonald, how are you doing? We're doing a giveaway again. A quick little giveaway. Um, gonna wait for everyone before I announce really what we're giving away or, you know, the rules and whatnot. Um, but yeah, how is everybody doing? We just finished dinner. Um, decided to come live and chat with everyone for maybe half an hour or so. Hi. Okay. Sonar, what's up? Hi, Matthew Goldman. Mahi Slayer, what's up? Shout out to Mahi Slayer. Uh, Sonar, you're back. It's nice to have you back. Yep, Lloyd R. Jr., what's up? Hi, everyone. It's day 40 something of quarantine. Day 40 something already? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, my 41 here. Sorry, no announcement about us going live. So, whoever's with us right now, uh, surprise. Hello, we're live. How's everybody doing? Alex Flores, how are you doing? Brian Superman Lee, how are you doing? Francisco, Brett, the Goose, what's up, the Goose? Hi, everyone. Hey. Uh, Will Harris. Hey, it's Chip, the sinker guy. What's up? What's up, Chip? Hi, everyone. Okay, okay. Okay, we got 175 people in here. Okay, so, first of all, um, I want to remind everyone that uh, we are having our digital retreat this weekend, our fishing retreat. Uh, so those of you who have already signed up, it's a free event, completely free. Uh, we're, why don't you give it a little explanation here? Uh, so the digital fishing retreat came uh, out of the idea that we wanted to just do something fun with everyone, right? Um, so this retreat is all about fishing as an essential, and we've basically put together three days of videos and activities so you guys can sign up, join everyone on day one, day two, day three. Yep. Yeah. And then day three, we're going live to talk about what we learned together. Uh, but yeah, it's a three-day retreat um, all about how fishing is an essential. Um, and basically, we're going to be talking about how we harvest fish, how we store it, how we cook it how we find fish, how we catch fish. Yeah, uh, it should be a really fun three days of our community getting together, kind of all going through this at the same time, and it should be a lot of fun at the end. I'm, I'm really excited to do this. This is our first digital retreat ever, um, and I think that I think everyone's gonna have a lot of fun. If you haven't signed up for this, it's a free event. It's in the link in the description. Yes. Uh, we ask for your email so that we can email you uh, all the information when it does come out. So when the videos do come out, uh, you will have 48 hours to watch it before they disappear. Uh, so if you are signed up, you will get a special link where you'll be uh, able to access all this special uh, footage. No one else will be able to see it unless you have the link. Sign so up. sign up, it's in the description below. I'm really excited. I just want to put it out there. I'm super excited. I think it's going to be a What's your fun. favorite day on for the retreat, Erin? Honestly, I, I like each of them individually, but I think day one is really fun. I think day one's really we're cool. talking about, like, best ways to find really good fishing spots from yeah. home. So it's, like, stuff that you can do from your house right now, even if you can't go fishing. Yep. Um, so we actually have all of this already pre-filmed. Um, it's coming out this Friday. This Friday, you'll get an email. And it'll say, uh, um, hey, the, day, the retreat has started. Here is a link. Um, so basically, go ahead and sign up right now, and then you'll get an email on Friday about it. Um, other than that, let's get to the giveaway. What are we giving away? Uh, wait, someone's saying the link is not working. Oh, thank you, Joshua. How are you doing? Did you put it in the description? Joshua just gave us a dollar. Oh, thank you, Joshua. Thank you. Yeah, I put it. I put all of the stuff, the links in the description, so you should be able to. Uh, someone else saying no link showing. Okay, let me check. Really quick. Aaron's gonna check, but we're gonna put the link in the description right now if it's not up there already. Um, the goose is asking me, do you like ducks or geese? I like to eat ducks. I don't think I've ever eaten a geese before. Uh, <laughs> Guppy, what's up? How are you holding up? Shout out! Shout out to Guppy. We're doing safe. We're at, we're basically day forty one of quarantine. We haven't gone anywhere. Um, pretty much just grocery shopping, and we grocery shop once a month. Yeah, 
Um, so we've been we've been quarantined. I'm getting I'm getting kind of antsy, uh, but we've been able to fish. So really, that's really give, been giving me uh, some sanity here. Uh, so I'm gonna answer I'm gonna answer some some people right now, and then I'll get to the uh, the giveaway. Um, but I think Aaron is getting the links and whatnot up and posted right now. I thought I thought I put it in there. Yeah, sorry. We we kind of right after dinner rushed to get um, rushed to get on on live because we wanted to talk to you guys. I, I guess I forgot to post the description or something. Yeah, sorry. Well, we're getting it into the description right now, um, and then here. Let me turn this around. Let me show you what we're giving away. Here is what we're giving away. Boom. Six packs of these, and these retail for about $20 a pack. So, each of these packs lasts me forever. Like, I can use this for like, like a week at a time. Like, if I'm fishing every day, I can use this for like an entire week. But if I'm using it for even smaller fish, I cut it into smaller pieces, and it's like, it's like an infinite amount, it feels like. Especially when I'm fishing for perch and stuff like that. It comes with a lot of squid, an entire mantle. Um, and it's all folded up into here. Uh, we've got a awesome salt blend in here that keeps this all preserved. Just keep it in the refrigerator uh, and it should last for a long time. And I don't know if you guys are following me on Instagram, but I'm catching so many fish in freshwater and saltwater using the Squiddy Bits. Um, we're giving away six packs of these, but also uh, we have, not only are we giving these away, but we're also making our prices a lot cheaper. We're taking $5 off of a pack of slabs right now. So you can get a pack of this for like 15 bucks. This is the cheapest that we've ever had it. Uh, and we're doing a flash sale on this. So once, once we're sold out of this, we're not selling it at that price anymore. So you heard it from here first. Uh, get a pack of that on our website. It's $5 off right now if you're interested. Um, if not, no biggie. I'm, I'm giving some of these away. So hopefully you'll win. Um, so giving away six packs of these. Aaron is uploading the, the directions on how to enter this giveaway as well. Um, but pretty much is gonna be very similar to how you uh, register for your, um, how you register for the retreat. Just an email so that we can, we can pick a random email and see who wins. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? I asked you guys, what, what should I give away? And a lot of people said they wanted to try the Squiddy Bits. So I decided to give away six packs to one, one person instead of uh, doing, you know, one pack for six people, six individual people. And, uh, I hope you guys can appreciate that. But this squid, whoever wins this, is going to last you a long time. Um, I'm going to read some comments. Yes, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, only USA participants because I've tried to ship internationally and they confiscate it. They, it doesn't get to the country, and um, it's it's a it's it's a matter of uh, the customs. They take it away from us, and um, it's maybe something that you could do is probably order it, have someone in the states order it, and then ship it to you from there. But it's a lot of paperwork, and it's also risk to get it taken away in customs. So I cannot do it. Um, I can't do it. Uh, international shipping. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, yes, we do ship to Hawaii, um, but it, I mean, it catches all sorts of fish. I've been catching very big crappie, uh, big perch. I've caught bluegill, um, largemouth bass. I caught a big carp on it the other day, too. Like, there's just a lot of different possibilities that you can use with uh, this, these squiddy bits, uh, whether you're sitting it on the bottom or whether you're using it as like a, like a soft plastic. Actually, I completely stopped using soft plastic stuff. Um, at, well, not completely, but I have really, really lowered the amount of soft plastics I use because this squid works the same, if not better. Uh, it has the natural scent, natural action of it, and we don't have to worry about polluting our, our waters. Um, and since it's Earth Day today, I, I think that we should start thinking about that right now. Um, I've been trying not to use as much plastic in, in, in the waters that I fish just because I don't want to contribute to water pollution if I can help it. 
Um, and it's not a matter of like 180 ing my life and being a complete like eco friendly hero, but you know, little things help. And I really think that it's important that we continue to do little things like, like try to reduce the amount of plastics that we use, like uh, try and, and harvest less breeder fish, stuff like that. Um, right, I, I wanted to say that there have been videos where like people will cut open the stomachs of fish and it will be full of soft plastics. Right? And that's just so sad to me. I hate seeing that. I hate seeing that because not only are we eating that fish, but that fish had been suffering for so long with, with plastics in its stomach. Um, that's why I feel so happy with this squid because I don't have to feel guilty about, uh, about losing my squid in the water because it'll, it'll just be eaten and digested. It's, there's no chemicals in here that will, uh, that will hurt. Um, yes. Do not eat this squid. Yes, you're correct, Hector's Custom Rods. Do not eat the squid. Someone says, XX Cool Gamer123 says, you have 182 people watching. That was quick. And I've been watching you guys for two years. You're amazing. Stay safe. Hope you stay safe too. I want to give a shout out to West Coast Bassin, who said that he's just now learning to fish in saltwater. And he hasn't talked a lot on our videos, but he's seen a lot of them. So, uh -huh. uh, thanks. What's his name? West Coast Bassin. What's up, West Coast Bassin? He said he lives. Um, Blocks from the Puget Sound. I would love to try your baits. Ooh. Okay. And hi, Daniel. Oh, and the goose wants to know the best way to rig the squid. Okay, so the, my favorite ways to rig the squid events is there's there's many many ways. On a bottom rig, um, it works very very well. But where I think it really shines is when you start using it like soft plastics. When you put it as a trailer for your your um, your bucktails. Put it as a uh, you know a little trailer for your jig heads. Um, swim it through weedless for 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 regular largemouth bass and whatnot. Um, I really like to use it that way. Uh, but people are discovering new ways to use it all the time. I actually just discovered that in California there's a whole. Oh my gosh, Tyler! Thank you so much. Tyler, Tyler. thank you, Tyler Okitun. Uh, Okitun. Uh, what was I saying? You're saying thank you, Tyler. Um, I use them. Um, yeah, it really shines when I use them as like a soft plastic lure or when I give it action because when it when it hits the water, the squid starts to take more water in, um, and it it get it becomes very fluid, it, and it's also a very tough bait too, um, and I, I really like to use it that way. John Samothrakis, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, shout out to you. In Jamaica, we went fishing and lost a, lost a spoon to a barracuda. Ooh, that's crazy. I haven't caught a barracuda before. Uh, howdy, that one tall Mexican, how are you doing? Have you used a float rig on a catfish? I don't think I have. Um, I'm trying to read through these. Oh, there we go. Tommy Tech. How are you doing, Tommy? He says he caught a lot of species on the squiddy bits. And I remember last year he caught James some pretty Brown. he caught some pretty big uh, catfish on that. James Brown spent $3 for this. Oh, James. thank you, James. <laughs> oh, someone says they're waiting for the Extreme Philly Fishing Review. Ex yeah, Leo just got some. Leo from Extreme Philly Fishing um, was hel helped support our small little business here and bought a couple of packs of squid. I'm really excited to see him use it um, because he's he's the king of catching all sorts of different species. I really like watching that. That's true. Um, and I really want to see how he uses it. Uh, we've got some friends here. We've got Michael, me just fishing, and my friend Tommy here from Tommy Tech. Uh, if you guys are in the Maryland area and want to see some cool stuff about kayaking and crabbing and fishing in the Maryland area, uh, Tommy Tech has a, has a great channel. Um, check it out. Tommy Tech. Um, Jay Cortez would like to know how does the Squiddy Bits work in freshwater? 
I love using it in fresh water. It works really well in fresh water. Huh, I got some It's pictures. like, remember, remember Uncle Josh's pork rinds? They do not make that anymore. This is the next best thing to Uncle Josh's pork rinds. Um, if not better than Uncle Josh's pork rinds. I was literally just looking at our pictures from last year when we were in Florida, and we were using the squitty bits on all these largemouth bass. We were killing it. Oh, no problem, Tommy. Yeah, we were catching a lot of largemouth bass on the squitty bits. It's it's a really fun bait because you can you can really use it in a lot of different ways. Okay, so this is I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is the squiddy bits just cut on a hook. Fish. So many fish. Lots of fish. Just just like a like a fluke, you know what I mean? Like you just rig it on a weed whisk hook and it's so so yeah, I mean it works really really well and and if you haven't tried it before try it for freshwater You will be surprised how it moves in the water. It, it looks very very real. It looks very very flowy and I really like to use it um, But this year in particular, I've been learning to target like panfish like crappie and, and um, White cr uh, white perch yellow perch bluegill stuff like that and it is very very uh, works very well it works better than my earthworms because earthworms get bitten gets bitten off and, and, and gone in, in like a second whereas this stays on so you can set the hook on the fish that count you can you can leave it for the small little nips and then wait for the big pull to set it and summer lopez thank you so much two dollars i really appreciate it by the way everybody anyone who donates to us thank you so much this all goes right back into the channel and all we're trying to do here is get, help people get on fish, help people learn how to fish, and we want to make learning how to fish easy for everybody. Um, I know there's a lot of YouTube channels out there showing all of their catches, but I really like the fact that we show how to catch it. Um, this, is, this is how we can help the world, is to teach people how to fish and how to fish responsibly. I want to give a shout out to Ivan Go. Ivan Go, what's, what's up? up? It's so nice to hear from everyone again. I hope everyone's doing okay. Um, hopefully this this quarantine is going to be over soon. Is everyone is everyone still sane? Is everyone how's everyone doing about this? We're personally on day forty one at this point. Forty one, huh? Well, we've been fishing a lot, um, like on the boat by yeah. ourselves. Um, uh, we are so lucky to have a little ten foot John boat because we are so like. We, we can be out on the water completely by ourselves yeah. like we're so isolated with this um, And I didn't I haven't used this little boat for so long uh, And to get back onto it and, and find a lot of perch like yeah. we've been doing is, is just a, such a great time It's been a really fun time the past couple of weeks actually we've just been like catching perch eating perch Yeah Catching some more Tying fish. more flies. And guys, what we've been using Tying is the these fly. hand tied flies. If you don't follow us on Instagram, you gotta follow us on Instagram. We do a lot of talking on there. We show all these flies that we've been tying, uh, and we put a little bit of squiddy bits on the end, and we're for uh, all sorts of different kinds of fish. It's really fun. Um, you cut it into a little sliver. Yeah. So Jay's Place TV was just saying, like, cut smaller pieces, like, for pan fish. Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. Little, you know how to do it. No one has won the giveaway yet. We're, we're just starting the giveaway right now. The link is in the description. Mm -hmm. And we're giving away six packs of these. Um, not only that, we're, we, we've cut the prices as well. So they're each $5 off at this point now. So limited edition, limited, uh, you know, limited pricing. If you are interested in trying the Squiddy Bits for yourself, we've got it for five dollars off right now—the lowest we've ever, you know, we've never we've never taken that much off. But honestly, I think this will make a lot of people feel better about being stuck inside. So, here's a big gift from me to you, and we're gonna slash our prices. Another gift from us. Um, I want to talk to Patrick Niles, who has a question, which is: Have you ever tried it for a bean crab bait? In California, they use it for the Dungeness crabs a lot. Right. Uh, and actually, that's one of the uh, that's one of the most interesting things I've heard it being used for. Uh, they people in California will use it for big Dungeness crabs and also for lobsters. And they say they do this because it's so tough that uh, they they can catch many squid they can catch many crabs on one piece of squiddy bits. That's the whole point of squiddy bits. 
is you can catch many, many fish on it, and fish also love it. Um, hey, Rex Green, Rex Green is there asking, are we doing the hats as well as the fanny packs? We're completely sold out of fanny packs at this point now, and we're debating whether or not we should get uh, more. Mm -hmm. uh, we still have more hats in stock. Fanny packs are gone. And thank you. Thank you guys yeah. for, for getting rid of those. Um, some people are going crazy, they said, with this, oh, having wanna... fishing withdrawals. Oh, I'm so sorry, everybody. Wait, go back. I'm sorry. This one. Rage6402 from Central Pennsylvania and used all of your tutorials to learn how to fish saltwater for the first time last summer in VA Beach. All your tips made my first ever saltwater experiencing amazing one. That's so awesome. See, we write all these different ebooks for surf fishing, pier fishing, jetty fishing, like how to tie certain rigs, how to use certain rigs. Um, and I put a lot of effort into designing these. Uh, and it's really, it's really nice to hear from you guys to hear that it actually helps. Yeah. So, um, it I, makes me happy because it makes me feel like our goal is being accomplished. Yeah. So thank you for telling us and thanks for watching. Yeah. It, our, our real mission here at Hey Skipper is to, is to help as many people as possible. Um, helping people makes me feel good. Helping people makes us feel good. And uh, I think it's, it's important for us to continue to spread you know, positivity in this world. Um, and by doing this, it makes myself happy and it makes the world happy. So uh, I'm, I'm happy with what we've got going right now. Just got my first bag of squiddy bits. Yay. I will send you a pic of my first catch with them. Thank you for all your tutorials. I learned so much. I'm so happy to hear that, Alan. Thank you for supporting us, Alan. <laughs> thank you, guys. Everybody, thank you so much for supporting a small business like us. Um, it's not, you know, during this time, it's not easy to, uh, you know, it's not, it's not easy running a little small business like this. And it, it means so much to us that, that we have we have such a, a solid following that, that loves us and continues to support us. And that's why I think it's so important that we, we give back by, by doing giveaways like this, by cutting our prices, by doing, our um, fishing by doing stuff like our digital fishing retreats. Um, you guys are the best and, and you guys really make our lives, you know, worth it. Yeah. So okay. thank you all so much. You guys are all the, the MVPs here. Sign up for the digital fishing retreat if you haven't already. The link is up. It's going to be really fun this weekend. So if you don't have anything to do this weekend, or if you have things to do, it's yep. not very long. Um, it's just going to be really fun for us to all get together. The retreat will be up for each day. Will be up for 48 hours. After 48 hours, it'll be uh, it'll be taken off. So you have 48 hours to watch each video, um, and each day it has two to three videos. Um, this is the first time we've ever tried this, so hopefully you guys will like it. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Mm -hmm. You can sign up for this uh, in the description below. Uh, and we'll be sending an email out this Friday with the first day of, of content. Um, and anyone who has signed up for this retreat will be getting special discounts on, on our, our ebooks and our special stuff uh, on our website as well. Mm -hmm. um, Michael from Me Just Fishing says, once I open Squiddy Bits, how long will it last on my, in my boat, you think? Well, it depends on how many fish you're catching. I wouldn't leave it on the boat. After you're done using it, bring it back, put it in the refrigerator. Um, but if you did leave it on your boat, it could probably last a few days, no problem. But I really would not leave it out there for too long. It, it, you want it to keep it as fresh as possible in the refrigerator. Um, but unlike regular squid, it won't go bad like a regular squid on a couple days in the boat. <clears throat> What's up, Len Dog? Len Dog. What's up, Skipper? Hello from Maryland. What's up, Maryland represent? I've watched, I'm sure, 99% of your videos. <laughs> Keep up the good work. I'm just starting my YouTube page, hoping to get my first video up next week. Good luck. Good to That's hear, Chubby awesome. Brother Outdoors. Yeah. I'll check up on your channel. Um, I never got my book on knots. Uh, okay, give us another, give us an email and I'll be sure that you get it. Um, okay. 
that's all. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I think that's it. I hope we see you guys this weekend. We have some really fun content coming out tomorrow on the channel. We have a new episode, 7 Oh, yeah. We're using, we're using a, a budget reel. A $12 reel. It's a Shimano reel. I found a Shimano reel for $12, and it actually ends up being a really awesome little budget reel. Right. Um, and we catch a whole ton of fish on it, and I want to show you guys. So that's tomorrow night's episode. It's going to be called something like Junk or Gold, $12 budget fishing reel. I'd appreciate it if you all went and watched that if, if you're interested. Um, but thank you all for the support. We couldn't continue this channel without you guys. And we really feel like this giveaway is the least that we can do. Mm -hmm. um, this, this retreat is the least that we can do. Uh, and I, I look, I'm looking forward to seeing you know, a, a good outcome this weekend for the retreat. And uh, anything else, Aaron? No, I hope you guys uh, sign up. I hope that we can uh, talk later. And thank you for watching, that's all. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through one more time some comments, um, and then I'm out of here. Okay, guys? <laughs> Fishing tip of the day. Where is that? From Brandon T. Senior. Right there, what do you think? Oh, uh, the fishing tip of the day? Yeah. Okay, I've got a fishing tip of the day. Okay, have um, Okay, well, it depends if you're freshwater fishing or saltwater fishing. Okay. My tip of the day is to... Uh, <laughs> do you have a tip of the day? We went, we went fishing this morning. What would you say our tip of the day this morning was? What was the trip of the day? Um, I think our, our trick this morning was if they're not shallow, look in the deep. Yep. There we go. That's a good one right there. <laughs> and if they're not deep, look in the shallows. Yep. And if they're not either, if they're not in the shallows or the deep, just go home. <laughs> <laughs> go back again. And that was this morning. <laughs> Don't leave plastic in the water. That's a That's good a one too. That's a great tip. Don't litter. I agree. Uh, beaches are starting to open back up. That's good to hear. As long as we're all, you know, safe and social distancing, then that's okay. Yeah, Carter, I noticed that you changed your name to, to Guppy now. Planning. We are not planning on going back to Montauk yet, but, you know, things can change. How do I reach out to you? I have an idea that we could link up on maybe. Hey, reach out to us on Instagram. Toby Davis. How do I rig squiddy bits for saltwater? There's many ways. You can use it on a bucktail. You can use it on the, on the back of a lure. You can uh, put it on the bottom for a bottom rig. You can tie put it on a rig. fish finder rig. Um, and if you don't know how to tie rigs, we teach a lot of different rigs online. Um, on our hayskipperfishing.com, we've got a lot of eBooks teaching all sorts of different, uh, different kinds of rigs. Yep. How to tie them, where to use them, what base to use, what sinker, what line, everything. I spend a lot of time putting putting these together to teach you guys. So if anybody's interested in our ebooks, um, check it out, hayskipperfishing.com. It was nice to talk to everyone, and uh, I want to thank everyone one more time for the support. Thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. Um, enter the giveaway, uh, enter our retreat. All the links are in the description below. Um, it was nice to see you guys again, and uh, we'll be back live this Sunday for our retreat. New episode tomorrow. And a new episode it's tomorrow. A good one. <laughs> yes, tomorrow's gonna be a good one. So everyone make sure you tune in uh, and let us know how you like it. Okay.